Well, you've probably heard the term too many cooks in the kitchen. Well, how about too many predators in the park? That may be the situation in Yellowstone where wolves and grizzly bears are competing for food. And that would be bad news for their communal prey, the elk. Now we're heading out with some national park rangers there who are trying to maintain a very delicate balance in a volatile environment. When winter comes to Yellowstone National Park, it does not come gently. It's a time when most animals struggle to survive. Wolves here were once poisoned, hunted, and trapped to extinction. But in 1995, authorities imported wolves from the Canadian wilderness and reintroduced them into the park. Watch out. Biologist Doug Smith says this pack has thrived in an environment filled with tasty elk. Yellowstone was the ideal place for wolves to be and they weren't there and we reintroduced them and conditions were such that they could have three litters of pups in one pack and they could have 20 of 21 of those pups survive. There are a lot of mouths to feed. Nature ensures that predators and prey are well matched. The herd can run hard and fast. But there are always the old and the weak to fall victim. Winter slowly gives way to spring. And now it's the young, not the old, that make tempting and easy prey. Wolves are not the only predators in the park. Grizzly bears, too, have to feed their young. There may be competition between wolves and grizzly bears for elk calves. But it's interesting because one day in Lamar Valley this spring, our team observed two elk calves killed by wolves, two killed by grizzly bears, and two killed by coyotes. Elk numbers seem to be holding steady, but fewer calves seem to be surviving. suggesting there could be long-term consequences. The calves are fleet and agile even at this young age, but no match for an experienced predator. In this hard scrabble world, no youngster is completely safe. A mother grizzly and her cub emerge in early spring from their winter den to be greeted by snow and something more ominous, wolves. There's no love loss between Yellowstone's top predators. Wolves have been known to kill bear cubs and grizzlies to kill wolf pups. This angry mother is formidable. Finally, the wolves lose interest in bear baiting, and the mother and cub go their own way, unharmed. Mm. 
with the return of wolves to Yellowstone. The park has been transformed and the competition between predators is now fiercer than ever.